Hello everybody, my name is Nasty Mold, and in this video we are going to do all of our daily quests, get information on today's shard event, find the seasonal candles, all that. Um, but first up, we are going to get our seasonal candle bundles. There are eight of these today, we have a double seasonal candle event on right now, which means that when we collect all eight, we should be able to forge a total of two seasonal candles. So we have our first two up in the social space, I collected them right there, and the rest are all below, so let's head down the hill here, and I'll meet you right by the ice ring. Here we're gonna grab the one in the middle, and then I like to go around counterclockwise, but you can go whichever way you'd like. We have one in front of this exit here, which brings us to the sliding race. And then we fly around here. We have this one, which is next to the uh, flying race or the citadel entrance right here. We have one on the bridge right in front of it. And then one to the left side of that entrance. We have one more we can find. This one's a little bit tricky. It is underneath the ice here. So let's head down and boom, kind of in the middle area. We have our eighth seasonal candle. And again, collecting all eight of those will give us two total season candles when we forge. Nice. With all that done, let's get started on today's daily quests. To admire the sapling, all we have to do is fly just up here above the Village of Dreams door, and here we have a little sapling. We just have to stand next to this for 60 seconds and our quest will be done. Our next quest is to help the forgetful storyteller recall their story in the Village of Dreams. So we're gonna head into the Village of Dreams here. You're gonna go into the Valley of Triumph. You're just gonna go towards the right side of that social space. And then there's this little opening that'll bring us to the Village of Dreams. We're just gonna fly or slide down the hill here. And at the bottom, kind of in front of like the theater area, is where we can find the forgetful storyteller. You can always call and see their little star ahead of us. This is another one of those little photography quests. Um, this one is a little different though. We have to take a picture of a gondola. Let's grab our quest. Hello. So they're gonna pass us our camera. And we just need the picture to have ourself and the gondola in it. And I think it has to be this specific gondola. There's one that has a little star on it. If you call, it might be hard to uh, tell which one at this distance. But as we get closer, I will show you which one it is. All right, it's up the hill here. And you should be able to see the star now right next to this red flag. Oh, I might not have enough flight to get over there. Why didn't I grab more flight? Why, why, why? Can I make it? Yes. All right. So I like to do this in tripod mode. I believe you can also do it in like the selfie mode with the camera. Just uh, point it right at the gondola there. I also like to make sure that it's not blurry. I don't think that's necessary though. And you want to get close enough that, you know, you see that little circle goes around the reticle and you get that flash. I believe that means that everything is centered in frame. So long as you have your Sky Kid and this gondola, you should be good. And my Sky Kid said yes, so we have to head all the way back to the uh, Forgetful Storyteller and hand in the camera. And once you're back here... There we go, quest is complete, and you can even turn in the quest here if you'd like to do so. Nice. To visit the hot spring, all we have to do is go into the Village of Dreams area. You can find the entrance directly towards your right when you first enter the Valley of Triumph. We're then gonna fly all the way up on the right-hand side here to the top of this mountain, and here we will find a secret little hot spring. For this quest, we do have to wait here for 60 seconds, so let's get close. Let's get snug in the hot spring and wait 60 seconds. And once that time passes, our quest will finally complete. To 
To race down the mountain with the skater, we have to go to the Hermit Valley, which is in the very upper part of the Village of Dreams. You have to go all the way up the big slope. You could take the gondolas if you want, or you can take the clouds, or you could take the flight wind path. This one's pretty easy, we just have to follow them down the hill. I believe this is the final checkpoint. There we go, race down the mountain. For today's rotating treasure candles in the Golden Wasteland, we actually have a double cake event on right now, which means we're gonna find eight total cakes instead of the standard four. We have our first two in the social space and the rest can be found throughout the wasteland. Carrying forwards, we'll find our third on this little staircase at the end of the first area. We're gonna go through the door and keep going on a little bit. Passing that krill room and continuing going forwards, you can see our next cake is inside this big skeletal remain. There we go, that is our fourth. Four more to go. We're gonna leave here and head towards the exit of this area, so just keep going till we're at that other um, big set of stairs. And I'm pretty sure in this recording I actually get caught by a krill, but don't worry, I made it out. We have the cake over here. Kind of on the right hand side. It's kind of missable unless you're actually going through this area. That should make five. Ah, it's okay, we're good. So we're gonna head back the way we came a little bit, backtracking, and we're gonna make our way to the area with that broken boat. Um, you can obviously go up further and go through the uh, pipe, but I'm gonna go through this doorway here. It is patrolled by a couple of krills, so be careful. Once we're through, we're gonna go to the front of the ship here and we'll have another cake. Is that the bow of the ship, the front? I have no idea. And then we're gonna carry on over here and go to the final area of the Golden Wasteland. Skipping ahead a little bit, we're gonna just fly towards the barricade with this big wall here. We have our seventh candle cake on top of the wall. And our final cake is just below, kind of towards the right a little bit, on this slab of stone here. And that is the double cake event, so we have eight of these to find today, which should be a nice way to fill up those chevrons for your candles. Today's shard is a red shard that falls in the hidden forest. This one can be found in the treehouse area, so you just have to fly down the first cloud tunnel a little bit, and then on your right hand side there should be an entrance to the treehouse. Of course this one is a red shard, so we'll be getting some ascended candles upon completion, and we'll get to visit one of these shattering memories to get a winged light. 
the times for this chart are on the screen right now. This is in PDT or in PST time, so be sure to convert it into your own time zone. Or you can check the link I have right below that will show the shard in your time zone and it'll also show the upcoming shards. So the shard should fall pretty much around this area. Um, it's a little bit spread out, so it might be kind of tucked in behind some of these trees, but it should be very, very easy to find. And I believe this shard only falls in one location, so super easy to find today. Um, for another angle, you could find it right in front of this bridge here. Now this is a pretty hard shard and it's actually only added on by the rain. So if it is raining for you, all you have to do is talk to the assembly guide and play the very last seasonal cutscene over. Once you play that final cutscene, the rain will disappear in this area, which makes it quite a bit easier. All right, and I do have footage of today's shard. I did do this one with some friends, so it was much, much easier. I highly recommend bringing some items to charge you just in case of emergency. Although there are jellyfish and things in this area you can charge from if you've done the assembly quests. Otherwise, definitely use some of these shared memory spells that might be littered in this area. They can help quite a bit because there are a ton of these shard crabs. And with the floating shards, it's a little bit difficult. This is definitely a high intensity shard and with all these crabs, ugh, it can be quite a challenge. For the second part of this shard event, it can be pretty difficult because we have to catch the jellyfish in the air and we have all of these floating shard bits everywhere, so they can definitely throw you into those big red shards that take all your light. It is super easy and of course it is super annoying when it happens. Thankfully I had my buddies with me, it was quite a fast shard event for me. And that is all of the daily stuff in the Valley of Triumph for today. Thank you so much as always for watching you guys. I hope you found this helpful. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.